Friends, good morning. Hi, how are we? So I'm holding my phone this time. Usually I set it down, but I'm holding it. Um, so, okay, maybe I should just set it down. Yeah, okay. So today is um, Tuesday. It's my little sister's birthday. Happy birthday, Jackie. Not that you're gonna watch this or see this, but maybe someday in the future, you'll be like, Oh my gosh, my sister, she she was doing all this stuff on YouTube. Maybe I should look at it. I'm just kidding. She's a little kid. Or she's not. She's like 16 now. So anyways, just kidding. Um, Happy birthday, Bubby. I love you. I can't wait to give you your prezzies. Yes. Um, okay, so back to the art. Um, yesterday, I technically did start a woodcock. Um... You're welcome. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I, 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 it was, I was getting a little anxiety because I was like, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, and then I was like, I didn't do it yet, so I'm like, I need to do it. Um, so woodcock painting also went to the most magical place, Warwick's. So we're gonna do a little mini haul. It's like super mini, like it's super mini. Um, I don't even remember what I got to be honest. Oh. Le Pen. Le Pen. I love these highlighters. Oh my god, I didn't even know they were double-ended. Oh, and I have another one. I had no idea. Ooh, 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 orange. Mm, okay, and then I've been getting into the polychromos. So we're going to do a little mini swatchy. Um, also, I've been really into just like the texture game. Um, sorry, my hair is crazy. I need some coffee. Take a sip of coffee with me or water. Water is really good too. I hope you hear my dog. He's doing yoga in the background. He does his yogurts every morning. So I've been into... Instead of, like, making a perfect something, I, I've been trying to, like, just do loose stuff and, like, um, like, drawing stuff that I see that I like, um, obviously, we, yeah, okay, we know that, but, like, really just being super loose and abstract and just, like, chill with it, like, like, casual, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes I'll go into my, like, Etra sketchbook and I'm like, oh, this needs to be perfect, no and then it's my sketchbook like that's where that's where the ideas go they need to be you know um so this is this is that one i really don't like this first page i really don't like it but that's okay so um and then i did this little guy yesterday like it's it's just supposed to be super fun like just chill like just something to get me warmed up so I'm gonna do that and then um, I'm gonna finish the woodcock. But yeah, this is my new my new Lictrum, I really hope I said that right, 1917 notebook. It's um, a soft cover. It's nice, it's nice. The pages are pretty thin, which I actually almost like and I'll, pro I'll probably go into the voice, I'll, I'll do a voiceover and I'll talk about that. But like the fact that the pages aren't like you know, 130 pounds or more. Um, it just, it, I don't know how to explain it. Like it's not, it's not like paper you would use to paint or like watercolor and stuff, but it's like for drawing. But because it's so thin and like, I don't know, I'm treating it more like, it's, this is like a fun notebook. Like it's just more fun. It's not, it's not like professional or anything. Like this is just to experiment, get ideas down, like literally just a sketchbook, okay? So, um, let's hop into the trying of the new step. Okay, that was really weird face. That was really weird. That's fine. That's fine. You guys are used to it. Okay. Okay, we're gonna try out. Okay, so this one, the tip is very different than my other Le Pens. See that? Oh, oh. It looks like I got, never mind. Um, backtrack now, backtrack. Uh, uh, there's my other, okay. This is normally what they look like. 
Keep, oh, I'm going away from the camera. Here we go. <laughs> Why is that so hard? Okay. Let's try these bad boys out. I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna draw a tree out of my head. I don't, I don't really know. Let's try out this side. Oh, wow. What? Oh, nothing. I'm film. Oh. Can you guys hear the marker, the marker um, noises? I hope you can. <laughs> So highlightery. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wow, friend. Wow. Okay, let's do another tree. We've been into trees lately. Should we bring the pink out? Mm, mm, no. This pink. Alright, well. Oh. You need a little bit of shading. You look kind of weird. Okay, I'm going to move over here, and we're going to do a something, something. Okay, okay. Oh, you made it to the voiceover part. Congratulations. Mitten says hi. Hi. Um, also, I always forget to introduce myself. I never do. Um, my name's Lucy Fitzmorris. I'm a wish full-time illustrator, artist, person. I'm not. But uh, we're getting there. Um, hi, it's me. It's me, Lucy. Okay, let's jump into this. So um, first of all, 
a few things I want to say. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new here. Um, oh, wow, that was quick. Okay, I thought I had more time. So I think part of me is going to talk about how I'm painting this. Like, maybe do, like, a little tutorial situation. I don't know. See, that's the thing, too, is I feel like I know my audience but I also don't like my community I know some of you are artists yourselves and then some of you are getting into art so um yeah I thought I'd just uh okay so really fast I put down my base layer I'm doing kind of wet on wet and then I'm I'm filling in little bits I'm like kind of lightly tapping my brush just to give the like illusion of like texture and stuff like because it's feathers you know it's a bird they have feathers um we so yeah and then um I'm filling in more color just because you know when you do a light wash of watercolor it it dries really light hence the name light wash so um just going in with another layer putting down some more color you know and then uh, drop it in more color, more of like the dark burnt umber kind of color. And then now I'm going in with a darker, darker color to put in more of the details. And here I'm, I'm literally like tapping my brush down to the paper and I'm purposely leaving little bits in because if you look up what a woodcock looks like, the their feather markings aren't like perfect, like just like, you know, like they're it's spotted, it's spotted kind of, like, there's a, there's a, it's not just one flat color on top of its feathers, you know, so I'm kind of just tapping my brush around, and, like, like, m kind of mapping out where the color, the darker colors are, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I was really tired yesterday, and I felt like I needed to be productive, so I did not plan how to go about this painting, like, I just was, like, I don't know, we're just gonna jump in and do it, um, so yeah, so a lot of it, okay, now I got my small brush, and I'm, again, I'm putting in little marks, like, little kind of flat lines that are not perfect, they're not straight, um, you know, to give the illusion of the, of the, I don't know how to say it, like, ugh. this bird is complicated, guys, it is, <laughs> and I'm trying to say how I painted it, so here, I'm going back with gouache just because I made that, like, b that darker part of its wing. I, I felt like it was too perfect. Like, it looked like a line, you know, like a... Anyway, so now I'm putting in some gouache to kind of lighten the bits up. Um, you know what? I'm going to stop for a second and put up a picture of a woodcock. Hold on. Okay, as you can see, it has a lot of patterns in its feathers, okay? So I was just doing the little, you know, bottom bits of its feather wings, so. And then now I'm going in with gouache to kind of make it a little bit darker, just because I know it's going to be light, especially when I put in the background. And then I covered over that kind of burnt umber, so I'm going back. And I'm going back and forth with watercolor and gouache. This is mostly watercolor, um... But for but I made a lot of mistakes. Like right now, it's I I I took like five minutes to clean that up, and it doesn't look like it. But I was, I was sitting there, and I'm like, I knew not to do that. Like it was wet, and I did the black eye anyways, and I was like, I knew not to do that, but I was tired. And then now, I'm going around putting in color for the background, and I know that this was gonna happen. But so I left some bit of white, um, around the edges just because the bird was still wet. And I knew going into that 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 wasn't the best idea. I should have just waited. But again, I was tired. So, yeah. So, um, okay, going in with darker colors. This is the next day now, technically. Um, again, with, I'm using watercolor. And I'm just, I'm being really light with it. And I'm trying not to scrub the bottom, uh, like, washes. Because I, I, I do that a lot where I'll, I'll be like, oh, I need to rework that. And I, instead of letting it dry, I start scrubbing it, which makes it look really kind of murky and just, like, not good. So I tried my best not to do that. I did do that a couple of times, um, especially yesterday, just because I was tired and I wasn't really, like, thinking too hard about it. Um, and then now I'm going back in with gouache for a little bit of details. Um, and I'm using a finer uh, tipped pen uh paintbrush not pen and then now I am so I've just redid the background I did it with mostly gouache so I just did the same thing just like kind of put random colors and then now I'm putting in some of the like grass in the background so it, uh, obviously it doesn't need to be perfect like it's it's just it's the idea of grass being there you know um 
So yeah, so I'm using uh, gouache for this one. I'm using like Holbein and G's Finest. Um, if you want to know the brands, those are the brands I use. And then, yeah, and oh, and then I will be using a Ferris wheel ink press i'll be using two one is steeped umber i think that's what it's called and then the other i don't know it's like mermaid tears it's my favorite one and then going in with some good old prismacolor pencils to kind of just like put in a little bit more detail um and just kind of like sh you see i'm like kind of shading the bottom just like to give the illusion that that's like where the bird's wing is kind of folded down onto its body and this is a metallic Prismacolor. I don't know where I got it from. It was just in there. So, yeah. And then I'm kind of trying to play with the, the... So, that was a more... I mean, these are both warm browns. But um, the other one was a metallic. This is more of like a reddish brown. So, I'm using that to kind of, um, you know, give a crisp edge to the background. Just... Um, I'm not going to line the whole bird with it, but I, w or not the background, but I want to line the bottom of the bird just so it doesn't look like it's, you know, because there's going to be shadow down there. And so the bird's not going to be super light down there. So you need a little bit of a line. Um, at least I think so. And again, I'm not a professional. I'm, I'm, I'm not, this is just the way I do it. So if you want to follow along, um, good luck. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, and that, that reminds me, do you guys want more tutorial-ish, like, painting videos? Like, do you want me to do this? Like, <laughs> like tell you how I did it, even though I'm awful at explaining? Um, you tell me. I, 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 like, one person, okay, again, like, the reason I have even made this YouTube channel is because I, there's so many artists that I see, and I'm like, and they're doing their aesthetic videos where it's like they they're getting different angles of their painting, and I'm like, no, I just want to see your whole painting. I just want to see the whole process. Like, I appreciate that you're sharing it at all, but like, I don't want to see your aesthetic angles. I like, I just want to see you paint the painting. So that's why I do it the way I like. My videos are set up like this, where you're looking down at me painting the whole time. You know. So do you guys like that? I mean, I'm assuming you do just because <laughs> you people keep coming back and watching. So I'm assuming you appreciate that setup. Um, but you tell me, what what do you guys want? Do you do you like it when I talk about the painting or do you want just like me to talk randomly and like do voiceover weirdness? Like, like, seriously, please drop it down in the comment section what you prefer, and if you'd like to see more tutorial-like videos, or if you're good with just the way it's been going, you tell me, okay, friends? So now I'm using um, the Steeped Umber by Ferris Wheel Press. This stuff is not forgiving. You put it down, you it's down there. Like, you can kind of wash it like how I'm doing where but you can see the darkest part is not going to be lifted that's that's there and that's staying there so either you can water it down on like a separate little bowl or palette or whatever which I do sometimes but today I was like no I I want to put it down dark and then just kind of do a, a like a watery wash to the edge you know to kind of spread it out I thought it looked good with it so that's what I went with but you know sometimes I will do a um, I'll, I'll wet the page first and then put the color on, but I didn't do that this time. Um, yeah. So, and then I'm going to move on to, um, my website. So I, <laughs> I, I haven't worked on it. Like I was working on it and working on it. And then I kind of stopped for a bit. I mean, it's, I still technically have my website. It's there to be mine forever. But, um, so what I think I'm going to do, and I said this before, is I'm going to do it in small batches, like little mini shop openings. And I had a dream the other night where I was like, I got my first sale. And I'm like, I want that. I want to actually have that be a thing. So I think what it's, I'm going to start to do is like every paycheck I get, I'm going to, I'm going to buy some more prints. And then until I'm, until I've gotten all the prints in my possession, then I will open the shop. And so I will say it's going to be like five of each print. So when I do open my shop and you do, and if you do want to purchase something, just know it's going to be in limited quantities just because this is, this is like when I do my first shop launch opening, that's going to be my first one ever in Lucy Mitten's history in my swamp. Okay. That's going to be the first ever swamp shop opening. So 
that's why I'm doing small. I'm going small first because I need to figure out the whole shipping, taxes, all that fun stuff. So that's why I'm going mini. And then eventually someday, hopefully, you know, I'll have, you know, unlimited amount of supply if if people, you know, once I do have a good amount of followers. And also I know that, you know, not everyone can buy something, you know, and so, um, you know, so I want to work on getting some smaller stuff into the shop too, but at the same time, I am most likely going to have a, like a $15 minimum, you know, just because of like shipping and handling. And I think what I'm going to do too is have that be part of the cost of the painting. So, you know, like for example, one painting I have is like 50, a print is going to be about $50, but that's including the shipping and stuff, you know? So yeah, so I'm, I don't know. I've, I feel like I've lost my, like, the that fire under my butt, but I really want to have this be my full-time career, so I don't know. I'm just, I'm trying to be kind to myself and just, like, be more intuitive and, like, you know, not, not pressure myself to just get it super done and quick, you know? I want to take my time and feel comfortable with what I'm doing, so you know, in my head at the beginning, when I first started making my website, I was like, I'm gonna get it up and going right now, right now. And it's like, whoa there, Lucy, it's not gonna happen that quick. And if you rush it, it ain't gonna be good. So you you need to chill and take your time. So I'm allowing myself to take the time that I need to properly get my shop going and understand, you know, the mechanics behind it. Um, And yeah, so that will be coming up in the future. But um, at the moment, I'm having a good time. You know, I haven't, you know, I haven't painted in a while. This was my first painting in a long time, it feels like. So it was it was nice to actually have something like a prompt almost. And I don't know why I'm not painting right now. I clearly didn't do too good with the editing situation. But (laughs) okay. anyways, um, we're at the end of the video. Um, Thank you for joining me. Okay. bye. On fire. Okay, that's the oh. gist of tear gas. Have you never been to? If you guys don't listen to Mr. Ballin, I highly recommend him. Like very much so. I love him. Um, me and my fiance, we listen to him going to bed. And I know that might sound weird because a lot of the time it's about like murders and you know weird disappearances. And it's like, why would you want to fall asleep to that? I'm not the only one. I've actually talked to a lot of people and they're like, yeah, we go to bed. He's just like his voice and like the way he tells stories. Anyways, anyways, um, follow him, subscribe to him. He's an, um, he was an ex Navy SEAL. I'm talking like I know him, I don't. Um, he's just a cool dude. Okay, anyways, so back to the painting. Um, this was a hard one, you guys. I hadn't painted for, I think, like, two weeks now. Maybe even more. It feels like that. Oh, I hope you like. I hope you enjoy. I think it came out pretty good. Um, we'll see. Okay. But, um, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day, your week, your beginning of your week. I don't know. What day is it? Tuesday. Okay, the rest of your week. Okay, have have a good one. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to be notified. If all goes well, Wednesdays will be upload days. Wednesday's house full of woe. Okay, bye.